Alright guys, so if you remember previously on Engineer Boy, we learned the design or you can say the size determination of a water tank. Now in this video, we will be determining the capacity of water tank and for this approach I'll take an example because an example can be an easy way to understand the problem better. Okay, let's focus on these drawings, okay. These are engineering drawings of a simple water tank. Okay, it is just a circular water tank. And remember the process and the method can be the same for all types of water tank. Does not matter if it's overhead water tank or underground water tank. Okay, so don't challenge this drawing because it is not to scale. All right, now let's say we are asked to work out the capacity of the same water tank. Remember the capacity of the tank can be calculated in terms of volume. And if you multiply the volume with 1000, you can get the capacity of the tank in liters if the volume is in cubic meter. Okay, now let's go ahead. The total capacity of the tank or the volume of the tank can be area of the base times the depth of the tank. Now area of the base can be taken as that area which is covered by the water mass and the depth is the same which is given in the drawing and that's 3 meters. Okay, so the tank volume equals area of the base which can be pi d squared divided by 4 and that's of course given in the 2D plan. You can say that d equals 4 meters. Okay, so pi d squared divided by 4 times the depth which is the small d. Now tank's volume equals pi d square. Remember d equals 4 meter. Okay, that's just the diameter of this circular water tank. Okay, so simple. So pi times 4 square divided by 4 times d which is 3 this time. Just do some mathematics you can get of course uh, 37.7 cubic meter as the tank's volume or you can say the capacity of the same tank in terms of volume. Okay, just multiply this value with 1000 you can get of course 37,700 liters as the capacity of the tank. Also you can uh, convert this video, I mean the volume into gallons if you multiply that with 264. So you can get of course 9,953 gallons as the capacity of the same water tank. So simple, okay, that's pretty amazing. So this was just for a circular water tank and in the next video, we'll just do the same uh, process for a rectangular water tank. Okay, so just wait for that.